Are you tired looking for literatures and still typing your in-text citations and reference list manually? Let's have a three-in-one solution to all of those problems. Let's try Mendeley. Today's episode is about RL AutoSearch and generating automatic in-text citation and reference list using Mendeley. And today's objectives are the following. To download and install the Mendeley software, and to know how it works by navigating around the Mendeley interface, installing MS Word plugin, and creating in-text citation and reference list. So first, let's proceed in downloading and installing the software. So basically, you can just type Mendeley Desktop in Google. So let me open my browser and let's type Mendeley Desktop, enter. So here, just click this link to direct you to the Mendeley page to download the application. So to download the application, just click this link, download Mendeley Desktop for Windows. By the way, this software also works for Mendeley Desktop for Mac and for Linux. So now let's click this link, then save the application to your computer. Then after that, simply click the application and follow the instructions to install the software in your computer. Once you install the Mendeley Desktop in your computer, a shortcut icon will appear in your desktop. So to open the Mendeley, double click this icon and you will be asked to plug in your credentials, your email address, your password, and then just click sign in to sign in your account. However, if you don't have an account in Mendeley, just register here by clicking the button in the lower corner of this dialog box. Creating a Mendeley account follows three steps. First is to create a free account. All you have to do is to click this button here, create a free account. Second is the sign up process where you put some information about yourself. And last is to secure your account with a password. Now, let's explore how the Mendeley works by navigating around the Mendeley interface installing MS Word plugin and creating in-text citation and reference list. So let's do first number one and number two because we need to open our Mendeley desktop application. So let me go to my desktop where I can find the icon for the Mendeley. And I will be, upon clicking that, I'll be asked to log in my credentials, my email address and password. And after that, click sign in. So once I'm signed in, this is how it look like. So this is your Mendeley desktop interface. In here, you can see the following add uh, folders related and sync. So let's talk about folders first. So clicking the folder with a green plus sign that will allow you to create a new folder. So click that and let's name the new folder as OBL for online distance learning. Press enter. If you want to delete that newly created folder, simply right click and choose remove folder or simply click this folder with a red minus sign. Now let's proceed to add. So if you click this add, that will allow you to add files from your desktop or from your computer. So choose one or two or all, then click open and the files will automatically be saved in your Mendeley library. Also, add allows you to add folder, watch folder, and add files manually. So let's try adding files manually. Let's go to our newly created folder ODL. Click. And let's try to add this file from my desktop with the name final report. It's actually a file about 
online distance learning. So let's drag that file and drop. Then if you click this file, the descriptions will appear in the right side here. So one thing I love about Mendeley is its ability to recommend related literatures. For example, I want to look for some literatures related to evaluation of evidence-based practices in online learning. So what I'm going to do is to go to related. So first, click the file and click related. So once I click related, the Mendeley desktop automatically finds all the literatures related to your selected article. Once again, click Evaluation of Evidence-Based Learning, Online Learning. So click Related. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven related articles to online, to evidence-based practices. However, if you want a, a wide search, not just for evidence-based practices in online learning, but simply generally online learning, there's a way to do that. So what you're going to do is go to, sorry, go to literature search. So click that literature search and type something here, say online learning there. And there are a bunch of articles suggested to you by the Mendeley desktop application. Lastly, let's talk about sync. So sync is very important, especially if you want to access your files in your Mendeley library anywhere, anytime, in any devices. So from time to time, if you added new file here, please try to click sync. So that's it about navigating around the Mendeley. Now, let's proceed to installing MS Word plugin from your Mendeley. So let's go to your or to our Mendeley desktop there. So to install the MS Word plugin, all you have to do is go to Tools. And from Tools, choose Install MS Word plugin. In my case, I already installed it. But just in case you haven't installed MS Word plugin, make sure that your Microsoft Word is closed. So once you install the Microsoft Word plugin in your Microsoft Word, there, go to References. And under References, you have this added group called Mendeley Site Omatic, where you can insert citations. You can insert bibliography, and you can change the formatting of your citation to APA, to IEEE, and other formats. So lastly, let's proceed to automatically creating an in-text citation and reference list using your Mendeley desktop. So let's open our MS Word file there, and I have three sentences, say an introduction of a certain paper or study. So this sentence is derived from the findings of author one, and I want to insert an in-text citation. All I have to do is to go to the reference tab and click insert citation. Let's do that in-text citation. And you'll be prompt to search the author of the paper that you want to cite the author here, or the title itself, or the year of the article. So in this case, let's just search for the title, say graph theory. And for the sake of discussion, let's just choose any author from these articles in graph theory. So say this one. So click, then OK. There, you have your in-text citation. Again, for example, for the second sentence, this sentence compares the findings of authors 2, 3, and 4. So let's have, let's add an in-text citation of three different authors. So click in-text in uh, insert citation, then look for the article, say graph theory, then let's just click any paper here. Then again, search for graph theory. Then say, for example, online distance learning there. 
we already selected three authors and click OK. Then here we go. We have our in-text citation from three different authors. Lastly, for example, your last sentence is about a suggestion from the contrasting findings of authors one and four. So again, go to insert citation, say graph theory, click any paper here just for the sake of discussion, and there. So we finally have five different authors here, or citations rather. Sometimes we want the author to be written at the beginning of the sentence. So say, let's delete this sentence and put it here. So, so you can say, Yen et al. 2016 presents a suggestion from the contrasting findings of authors one to four, but actually that's not how we write it. So we remove this parenthesis and we write the parenthesis here. And that's it. And it allows us to edit the citation. So the Mendeley desktop gives you this prompt if you want to keep the manual edit or stick to the previous citation. In this case, we have to click keep manual edit. Okay, so doing that allows us to edit our citation. Now, let's proceed to generating reference list. So to generate the reference list, all you have to do is go to reference section and click insert bibliography. So let's do that. So make sure to put that under the reference list. So insert bibliography, there you go. So you have automatically generated your reference list and if for example you are required to change the format of that in this case it's actually in the apa format just in case you are asked to change that to the american medical association 11th edition format so all you have to do is simply click the style and choose the format that you like say american medical association then automatically everything change. Even the formatting of the reference list. You don't have to do that manually over and over again. That's so tedious. That's all for generating in-text citation and reference list using Mendeley. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.